Good morning guys from Crown Kauai Waterfalls. We left uh, Sankaburi here just about an hour ago and driving along the road we found this beautiful part, part of the Khao Lam National Park and filled with these beautiful waterfalls. So we are heading back into Kanchanaburi today but before we get there I got a few beautiful spots I want to show you and this is one of them. for a foreigner but for some reason they only charged me 40 baht or else I would not have come in here so this is cool obviously because the rainy season is just finishing the waterfalls are full of water I would guess like in the winter January February March maybe probably not so much water but it's beautiful the water is so loud that's why I'm speaking a little louder so if you guys are enjoying this video already, please leave me a like, leave me a comment. Where are you guys watching from? Are you watching from somewhere in Thailand? Are you watching from somewhere else in the world? Leave me a comment, let me know. I reply to everybody's comments always. So leave me a comment, let me know where you're at. And for now, I'm gonna leave you with taking a look at these waterfalls before we move on from here to the rest of our road trip back to Kanchanaburi. hop back into the car leaving this pretty beautiful waterfall spot and we're gonna be start heading back still towards Kanchanaburi but we're going to try and maybe hit up Hellfire Pass I'm not sure if it's open or not but there's those waterfalls from the road being closed but by the time I upload this video it will be opening as it's opening in just five short days but we will not be here in Kanchanaburi when that happens so instead we have come to check out the Temkrasi death rail road bridge and we may be staying at a resort too near here not sure yet but I think so but it's on the other side of the bridge and we have to do a quite a bit of a drive but right now we're just walking through the market and I'm guessing just over here is where the infamous bridge is where the train will cross by here shortly hopefully shortly so take a look at all this guys and I'll be back with you in just a second
So far in the distance here, you can see the Tumkase Bridge, which is the famous Death Railway Bridge. One of the iconic spots that was built in between the area of 1939 to 1942 by POWs in World War II. So we are going to journey up this way just a little bit. But if you can see, there's a resort way over there, about here. And that's where we think we're going to go stay there for the night. And it also has a great view of that bridge. So I guess there's a cave right here. So we're going to go take a look at that. So let's go. cave which was super cool very interesting employee of course paid a respect to the Buddha in there and it was extremely hot no air conditioning inside that cave so here we are just arriving to the bridge Okay, well, once again, our plans have gotten messed up. Remember how I told you I would see you at the other side on that bridge? Well, when we called that resort that you could see a little bit in the video, they said that they had one room available, so we told them, hold it for us. We're gonna be there in about 15 minutes. Well, when we got there to check in, what did they do? They sold us, sold, sold somebody else our room. So now we are going to head back to Kanchanaburi instead, which is only about a 40 minute drive, so it's okay. But on our drive, we've seen this place, and this is called the Captive Cave. I'm going to walk over here and show you a really old sign here in just a second. But for those of you that don't know any of the history about the World War II and this area, I'll show you a couple pictures. But I highly suggest watching the movie The Railway Man with Nicole Kidman and some other guy. It has this guy in the movie, and this is footage from the movie and from this location right here, which is just crazy to believe, crazy to believe. So back in like 1939 to 1942, the Japanese, I guess, were holding some of their captors in a cave just back there through that house. But I guess right now it's closed off, so we can't even go in, but this is basically what it would look like. very similar to the cave that you just seen that we were just at on the other side of the bridge, which is where the Japanese would have their station located, where they would stay. Alright, well that is the part of the captive cave here. I wish I could show you more, but unfortunately cannot. I'm trying to balance on the tracks here. I got a dog's barking at me. Holy shit, I gotta get out of here. I need to attack by a railway dog. But anyways, we are gonna hop back in the car. We got about a 40 minute drive back to Kanchanaburi. We're gonna be staying at just a cheap hotel, I believe. Like I said, watch that movie, The Railway Man. You'll have a better understanding if you don't already have a good understanding of 
the occurrences that took place in World War II right here. Absolutely astonishing, amazing. This dog's about to come at me from across the street, calling all his friends. Look at this. So guys, if you've been enjoying this video, please go down below, leave me a comment, leave me a like. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell to be notified when I drop another video while we continue our road trip on our way back home to Rayong province. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.